We begin in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. A man was gunned down tonight in East El Paso. The deadly shooting happened on Barrett Leisure Drive. That's a neighborhood near Sal Kleinfeld and Pebble Hills Boulevard. ABC 7's JC Navarrete is live at the scene. JC, I know you just spoke with law enforcement. What did they tell you? Eric, good evening. Uh, I can tell you three people are involved. I did ask Sergeant Robert Gomez if this was a case of a love triangle. He tells me there's not enough information to support that. So let's just break down what happened here. We do know that one man, a 23-year-old man, is uh, dead tonight. The uh, suspect, the man who opened fire, is actually the homeowner here of one of the houses behind me. He's a man who's 20 years old and uh, his current girlfriend also involved in this shooting investigation. What we can tell you is that police are telling us that the man who was shot dead was actually found inside the homeowner's house and was seen assaulting his ex-girlfriend. That's when the current boyfriend uh, confronted him, pulled out a gun, and, uh, you know, what he says is he opened fire in self-defense. Now, it is too early, though, to tell if this is a capital murder investigation or a case of self-defense. What I can tell you, though, is the shooter, the man who opened fire, is cooperating with police. I can tell you that the victim, the, the woman who was in her 20s as well, is cooperating with police. She did not require medical treatment, uh, but she is talking to detectives here tonight. So they both are. At this point, there are no arrests. Again, the investigation will yield that when uh, it does develop later on in the following hours or days but for now it does remain an active investigation we're keeping an eye on the scene and if any updates do come uh, here between 10 35 we'll of course bring them to you on air if not just head on over to our website kva.com for the very latest for now reporting live here in east el paso jc navarrete abc7 thanks